whether you go to the gym three day, three times a day, or if you just go to a gym to use the bathroom, when you do actually lift up the weights, proper form is key. Joining me now to tell me all about proper form and the benefits of it, and also the bad things that can happen, is our Horton from Firebells. Thanks so much for coming in. Okay, Thanks for proper having form. Me. You know, and that's one thing that at Firebells, that is the first thing that they teach you. So first off, let's talk a little bit about, you guys actually have a class that teaches proper form. So yeah, why do we need to do proper form? Oh. And also tell us about the class. Proper form. Um, gives you the most benefit you can get out of your training and keeps you safe. It's really about injury prevention and using the right mechanics and the proper muscles that are targeting for the exercise. Okay. And our class Spark basically teaches the fundamental set of skills you need for training at our gym with the kettlebells. Okay, great. But a lot of them transfer into things you can do with the dumbbell also. Okay, so is this typically the first class that people take when they go to Firebells? Yes, absolutely. So they can learn the proper form. And, and you said, okay, so the main two reasons are you'll actually get muscle growth and you don't want to hurt yourself. Right. So we, those are pretty good reasons to do proper form. Yeah. So let's jump into it. You're going to show us three exercises. The first one is a row. Row. So Correct. show us the proper form. Okay, there are many ways to do a row. This is the way we choose to do it mostly at prior bells. Okay. You got a split stance, and we're going to use the back leg a little more athletic on the ball of the foot. Mm -hmm. We're going to brace my arm on the front of this leg. The main key with this is keeping spinal alignment here. Okay. I'm going to grab my dumbbell here, and I'm going to drive my elbow up toward the ceiling. Okay. That activates the upper back and lat muscles. I'll just repeat this as many times now, as necessary. What are some things that people might do wrong when they're doing this? Um, they will not engage here okay. and cause some damage to the shoulder and they might rotate a little bit. That's a little bit unsafe and can cause injury. Okay. So. Okay, now the next thing you're going to show us is a renegade row. Renegade row. Okay, so that's Now, what's the difference between that? So, that was a regular row. That was a regular row. This is taking it up a notch. Okay. This is using the plank form from a push up. Oh, jeez. Okay? okay. Doing a push up, you can do this on kettlebells or uh, like we have dumbbells here. And then once I'm finished with the push up, I'm going to actually shift my weight a bit, okay. stabilize, and create a row here. Now, I'll go back, okay. do my push up. And then I'll do the other side. You know, you so, could have done these with fives. You didn't have to grab the 25s, Zar. <laughs> Jeez, you don't have to be a show off. Okay, now what's something that people do? I mean, even with a plank, people can do planks wrong. So what, what are can, some things? Yes. They push their hips in too far? Yeah, they can or just they let, their, their butt let, up? let, their, let themselves sag, okay. which is dangerous for the back. They okay. can also <clears throat> just be out of alignment here. Okay. This is not going to be um, beneficial at all. Yeah. It'd be, um, yeah, potential okay. for harm there. All right, and then the last thing we're going to show them is a deadlift. Deadlift. Which right. what what is a deadlift? The if deadlift doesn't is know. the way that we pick up a a dead load of yeah. weight from the ground properly with proper alignment. Okay. A lot of people will try to use their backs and around round their backs. That would be improper form. Mm -hmm. um, also, using trying to not use their back and actually endangering themselves in a, in a in a greater fashion. Trying to do that that way. Okay. The way we teach it is standing over the load of weight, mm -hmm. then hinging, what we call hinging, at the crease of the hips. Okay. Okay. Spine alignment is key and maintaining that throughout so that I'm not rounding my back to lift. Yeah. So we get nice and tall on that spine. Okay. Then I'll grab into the handle here. I tighten up my upper body to okay. maintain that spinal alignment. And then I push into the floor okay. and go to a standing position. Right. Now that's one of the first things that I learned when I went to visit. Yes. So is this one of the first things that people yeah. learn is how to actually deadlift? Because yeah. there's so many moves that go into it. I mean, you Correct. guys do the kettlebell swings right. and all the other things that I don't know what they're Not called yet. That, Not yet. that I will learn. <laughs> right. So if somebody wants details on your guys' class or mm -hmm. where they can come find you and learn proper form, maybe they have an injury and they want to learn how to do it right, right. how do they find you guys? You find us, uh, actually, it's easier to find us on Facebook now. Okay. Um, Fire-Bells with a Z. Okay. All right. And, uh, yeah. Easy so enough. There. All right. Well, we will have a link to that on our website. Just head over to Casa.com. Thanks so much for You're coming welcome. in, Zach. You Thanks. did a great job here. Thank Robert you so Ford. much. Now we're going to send things over to Chad. <laughs>